Hello, I'm Mark Embry. Uh, Jerry asked me to play bass on uh, Lucky Break, and uh, I wound up uh, producing the album. Uh, uh, Jerry was uh, trying to do it himself, and uh, um, I think that he realized uh, by the time he got in doing vocal overdubs that uh, he needed someone uh, to uh, judge uh, uh, between the uh, tracks and uh, he was not the best person for that job since he was in the booth doing the overdubs. And that is sort of how I came to be involved as a producer. Um, and it was a, um, a lot of fun. The, the project uh, was a terrific fun and it was a, a privilege uh, to be able to work with uh, uh, such terrific musicians. Uh, uh, Jerry, of course, uh, he and I go back to the 70s. I've, uh, knew him for a long time as, uh, oh yeah, that guy out in the parking lot that sounded really good at that jam session, or what have you. And eventually uh, we became acquainted because there aren't really that many bluegrass musicians in Wisconsin, and especially uh, uh, ones that really sound like uh, they're playing bluegrass. Uh, so it was uh, natural that we would uh, uh, somehow or other hook up uh, on down the line. Uh, and uh, I've had the uh, pleasure of uh, playing with Jerry for several years. And so when this uh, project came around, uh, I was uh, delighted to uh, join in with uh, uh, such a great bunch of musicians. Uh, so much fun to be around Byron Berline. Uh, I chummed around a little bit with him when I was uh, playing with Bill Monroe and then later with the uh, Nashville Bluegrass Band uh, uh, in my days on the circuit when I was a full-time uh, musician. And uh, I've known uh, these other uh, uh, players, too. Uh, of course, uh, Byron, uh, terrific on the uh, fiddle, um, uh, ex-bluegrass uh, boy. And so uh, um, Byron and I uh, always had a lot of fun uh, reminiscing about our days with uh, uh, playing with Bill Monroe's band. Uh, and then uh, Scott Vestal, uh, national banjo champion, solid as a rock on the banjo. Uh, and Andy Statman on the mandolin, uh, it's just hard to go wrong with Andy. Uh, and it was a, a special uh, pleasure to uh, sit in the studio with uh, Byron and uh, listen to Andy uh, uh, do some uh, fixes and repairs and overdubs, and he never played the same thing twice. Uh, it was just amazing, uh, so much so we were just really crying laughing listening to uh, uh, him go through the uh, various takes. Um, Andy uh, has got a lot going, uh, uh, and uh, it was a lot of fun to uh, uh, to hear him play, uh, as always. Uh, to me, uh, truly one of the great mandolinists in the world. Uh, I know that he's uh, um, a lot more famous in uh, um, uh, certain circles for his uh, work on clarinet and of course he's virtuoso on clarinet as well but uh, as a mandolin player I put him right up there in the uh, top rank of uh, players along with Bill Monroe and David Grisman and uh, um, guys that get that that big tone uh, and uh, even with uh, Michael Compton who uh, has a similar uh, sort of natural understanding of the uh, Monroe style on the mandolin uh, so all of this uh, um, made for a terrific uh, common ground uh, of uh, traditional uh, sound. And so there was really nothing to it. Uh, and uh, um, the, uh, the sounds were all there. Uh, uh, Tim O'Brien uh, mailed in his part uh, from Nashville, but uh, as usual, uh, did a great job of singing and uh, um, was a uh, it was very easy to work with the uh, stuff that he gave us to uh, mix it down. Uh, mixing it down was a, a challenge. Um, it was uh, spread out over a lot of different tracks and uh, uh, then there were a lot of uh, overdubs to consider. Uh, because uh, Jerry had uh, limited time with the uh, musicians uh, that came in uh, to Waukesha to do the session, um, we had to uh, do a little bit of a, um, ingenious uh, Pro Tools use uh, afterwards to uh, try to uh, do some fixes without having the player uh, handy. Uh, in the old days, that would have been a lot of razors and tapes. 
but uh, these days, uh, with the uh, digital technology, it was actually uh, uh, possible uh, to fix some things uh, digitally. And of course, you can only do that if you have a really solid basis uh, to work from. And uh, that's what uh, these uh, terrific musicians uh, were able to provide. Uh, was uh, tracks that we could work with there was plenty of substance there so uh, the fixes really were fairly minimal um, mixing it down we just weren't getting the sound that I thought should be in there given all of the playing and the, uh, uh, the good ensemble sound uh, it just wasn't there um, I struggled with it and uh, eventually uh, talked to a producer at a uh, Narada Records, where I was working uh, as writer, and uh, he pointed out, you know, if you took this to Nashville, um, there are any number of people that could do this in a big hurry. It'd be uh, uh, like duck soup. Uh, they'd be able to fix it uh, pretty quickly, because he recognized, too, that, that the performances were there. Uh, and uh, so I have to uh, give a special tip of the cap to... Uh, uh, Bill Vorndick, um, uh, engineer to the stars, he uh, does uh, Alison Krauss's albums and uh, a whole lot of other stuff, uh, has over the years, uh, uh, really one of the uh, uh, best engineers and producers around, and uh, I was lucky to um, be acquainted with him and having uh, worked with him a little bit, I, I kind of called in a favor and uh, uh, he was uh, willing to uh, jump in on the project and so in a matter of a couple of days, uh, Bill had it uh, uh, sounding really good. So uh, it may have seemed like an outlandish idea just right at the top, but really Nashville's not that far away, and it was a, a terrific thing for the album, and that really uh, took it the uh, uh, last mile to have uh, uh, Bill Vorndick's uh, considerable expertise to uh, sort of mold it all together into... Uh, uh, sound that I'm pretty happy with, so I'm I'm proud to have my name on there as a, a performer and producer, and uh, uh, proud to be on the album. And uh, I expect that it'll uh, go uh, gold or platinum just uh, any time now. Uh, could be when you see these tapes. Uh, that'll be the next step, and uh, uh, we'll look forward to having uh, something else to hang up on the wall. Anyway, uh, congratulations to Jerry on the anniversary of this project and uh, continued uh, uh, good luck and success. And uh, uh, with a guy of his talent, uh, you don't need that much luck. So uh, anyway, uh, congrats and uh, uh, my thanks uh, for being on the project to begin with.